Hello everybody, how are you? We're here in a beautiful afternoon in the Berg. And we're continuing our series on communities in Pittsburgh. The highlighting their history, the characters, their essence, what they're all about. To give people from around the world a better idea of the real people that make things tick in this great city and we've covered a lot of them this one is going to be a video about a little community called Heidelberg now if you're from Pittsburgh you're familiar with Heidelberg you know all about it or maybe you don't maybe you'll learn something in this particular video and uh, <laughs> if I can if I can back up uh, Heidelberg is also in the south of Pittsburgh area. So across the river in the southern hemisphere of uh, the P-Town. You might even say it's a little bit west of the, uh, of the city, southwest of the city. And like much of the city, it has a rolling, hilly, wooded nature. And because of that, it was one of the most important remote sites uh, for the filming of a major Hollywood blockbuster called The Sound of Music. And so many scenes from The Sound of Music were shot in Heidelberg that the city at one point was destined to get a... Uh, credit as a character, like a character credit or acting credit, but as a town. But you have to know, and I'm slowly understanding, the nature of the Pittsburgh character. And that is self-effacing, self-reliant, salt of the earth, hardworking, uh, doesn't want the spotlight, credits his fellow man, helps his fellow man and woman doesn't want uh, the limelight. And so the people of Heidelberg, although they played a major role in that film by providing not only the vast vistas that you see of the family on top of the mountains and a lot of the uh, interior scenes as well, shot in buildings and homes in that area. But when asked if they wanted to give the town itself, the community itself, a credit on the film they they uh, demurred as we say they said it's all right it was a pleasure and just right there just w whether you learn anything else from this video just right there captures what I have come to know as the Pittsburgh character honest a tough hard-working blue-collar no nonsense, no baloney, no BS. Take your BS back to Los Angeles. We don't want it here. We don't take it. We don't allow it. Go back to Brooklyn. Go back to Toronto, okay? And take Drake with you. That's what they're saying around here. That's how they say it. Take, take, take your, your crazy ideas and get the heck out of here. We just keep it simple, meat and potatoes. And so they did not did not want uh, Heidelberg to be in the credits of the film. But guys, if you go online and do the research, you'll see that that movie couldn't have been made without the community of Heidelberg, south uh, south by southwest of Pittsburgh, because it's such a beautiful community. It has the exact geography and topography of the the town and mountains and vistas that the producers wanted to portray in Europe, in Austria, but they were right here in town and it was very, very cheap. It was much cheaper than building the scenery or finding snow-capped areas in, let's say, uh, near LA where they have a lot of production facilities okay 
and faking the snow. It was just it was just too much going on. Whereas here in Pittsburgh, just south of the city, you have the hills, you have the insa insane beauty, you have the trees, you have everything that makes it look like it just was pulled from the uh, hills of Austria, the mountains of Austria. So guys, uh, if you come to Pittsburgh, you need to go down to Heidelberg, you need to memorize the songs from that movie, at least the most popular ones, so that then you can frolic among the hills and say the hills are alive. The hills are alive. Now maybe you have a New York accent and you say, hey, the hills are alive. Or maybe you have an accent from Canada and you're very polite and you say, I think the hills are alive, eh? Or maybe you're from LA, you're like, dude, the hills are alive, dude. I, it, it doesn't matter where you're from. The hills are, are still gonna be alive. Don't you understand what I'm saying? The hills are alive. And so, no matter what we do, no matter which way Pens uh, Pennsylvania goes or Pittsburgh goes, those hills will be alive with the sound of music. And guys, if that little bit of phraseology right there just didn't bring a tear to your eye right now, I, I don't know what you're made of. You might want to touch your chest and see if your heart is made of rocks or something. Because I just communicated one of the most touching, emotional parts of living in Pittsburgh. And if you have a heart made of stone or some kind of masonry material, you probably didn't get the full effect of that. So I'm going to give you another shot. I'm going to tell you again. That Heidelberg represents the very best of the Pittsburgh character. And that is heart and soul are just as important as mind and body. And that your commitment and conviction are just as important as your character and your helpful attitude of optimism and forthright forthrightness guys this video may be the most important one in this series so far because I'm capturing and I I, I create these videos on the fly I, I create these videos as the stuff comes to my head and if you've ever seen my head that's quite a feat you got to get down to Heidelberg guys do it as soon as possible get out of your car and say the hills are alive and this has been another joe nitzel parody come back for more